Second of March 2022, uh, Dr. Kozana Lamine Zuma, the Minister of Cooperative Governance and Home Affairs, issued amended regulations in terms of Disaster Management Act 2002, which were released on the 23rd of March. These amended regulations permit the return of spectators to sporting events subject to certain limitations. And that is why when we met as an executive committee yesterday, we had to make sure we understand what are those limitations to make sure that we comply with the requirements in terms of whatever regulation is effective at this point in time. In addition to the amended regulations, sport bodies must still meet the legal obligation imposed upon them by the Safety and Sport Recreation Act of 2010 in context, in context of the change regulatory framework. The Executive Committee of the League met yesterday and today to consider the amended regulations of how best to implement them agently, safely, and responsibly, and with regard to the need to put in place the measures required about the amended regulations, and more importantly, the SASRIA requirements. The amended regulations permit spectators to return to professional football, which is subject, firstly, the use of only 50% of the stadium capacity. Those permitted entry providing a valid vaccination certificate or negative test, which must have been obtained more than 72 hours, or not later, more, not more than 72 hours. Strict adherence to health protocols and social distancing measures, which I am told now is about one meter. To allow for return of spectators on this basis, it will be necessary to make an urgent application to categorize or recategorize upcoming matches in accordance with the SASRIA Act. And having regard to such appro approvals as secured from Commissioner of South African Police Service, submit amended plans to the Event Safety and Security Planning Committee and the League of National Safety Officer. Now, all these requirements are important, and that is why people are saying when the announcement was made, why we did not start you know, admitting spectators into the stadium? The situation is different. As I speak to you now, the games that are taking place this weekend, the games taking place next weekend, all those games have been categorized. They've been categorized and already there are plans in place that they've been approved. Now, if this new announcement came, it changes the complexion of the requirement. One of the things that we are advising our member clubs is that all categorization that are made must be asking for medium risk categorization because that in itself gives you the full vogue to assist you in the management of the event. But also you've got the SSPC meeting taking place the one week before the match with all stakeholders involved in planning for that event. Now, with what is uncertainty now is the question of the compliance and the response that you're going to be getting on the date to be announced when are we starting with the events to take place. The executive committee formulated you know, today guidelines setting out the steps to be taken and stressing the importance of compliance. These guidelines will assist member clubs to, remit, to permit you know, the return of spectators to professional football matches in a responsible and, most importantly, safe fashion. Having regard to the matters that must be attended to to ensure lawful, lawful and, re, and safe return of spectators, the league has earmarked the net bank quarterfinal matches of the 8th and 9th of April the first matches that will be open to spectators. Standing here in front of you, it will be difficult for us to start this weekend. As I've indicated, that most of those matches already have been categorized and approved. Now, next week, also those matches were categorized. We're asking that they must be recategorized to make sure that they are compliant in terms of the requirements. I must emphasize 
that the issue of you know, vaccinated and proof and your ID is very important for supporters when they come to those matches. Upon purchasing your ticket, you'll be required to show your ID and your vaccination. I must encourage that uh, it be very important that you know, we encourage our supporters to vaccinate uh, when they want to come to matches because we are first thing to have 100% you know, return of spectators to all our matches. Very important also that our supporters must understand that we value their support for all these years. That's why we had to take these precautionary measures to make sure that we comply to the full in terms of the requirement, because if we don't comply, when things are normal, nothing happens. If an incident happens, when you go in front of a judge, he does not understand the mood, the sentiment, your feelings, what is in the regulations, what is in the, in the, in the, in the Safety Act, did you comply in the Safety and Safety Act, did you comply or not comply? So all those things are very important to make sure that we take into account the welfare of our supporters at heart and protect them and also protect our stakeholders because there's reputational management of the sponsors, SAFA, FIFA, CAF, and all the stakeholders that are impacted by any incident happening in football. So therefore it's very important for the safety of the supporters to make sure that in case something happens, maybe there are issues of liabilities in terms of the insurance. The insurance cover must not have an excuse of not paying because we failed to comply. Important also for the media, we can now submit after this press conference for accreditations. You can apply for your accreditations for attending matches as announced today, that all matches from the 8th and 9th will allow the media to those venues. Up to this point, uh, it's going to be very important that, you know, as a league, as we finish now, we are sending to the clubs the concept document of a return of spectators so that they must be able to know, because the issue of categorization is not done by the league. The league only gets responsible, you know, for the cup competitions. But for the clubs, they are responsible for those kind of recategorization of those matches. So lead time is required for them to be able to do that necessary kind of interaction with the commissioner of police uh, or in charge of you know, the categorization of matches. But more importantly, it's also very important that uh, we give the responsibility to the class because there's a lot of meetings that must take place in between matches, especially if the matches are medium risk. That's why because of anticipated you know, enthusiasm of the return of supporters, we must make sure also on the issues of compliance in terms of the issues of the valid validation, checking of the IDs and the vaccination certificates. And we have agreed as a league for now that the checking will be visual tech checking because at the moment the issue of technology might be a bit of a problem. That's why we're asking the supporters, please carry your ID and your vaccination in your hand. And maybe I might encourage the health department that maybe going forward whilst we're in this phase, if it's possible that you allow your personnel to be next to the stadium in case those that want to vaccinate, they can vaccinate because you now we are at uh, arm's length, because some of them are working, they don't have time, they've got time constraints, so they must, nobody must be disadvantaged on this most important, you know, the opening of the stadium to all our supporters in the country at large. That's enough for me, Mr. Fatwani. Watch DSTV Compact.